Hi everyone, so I just want to spend a little bit of time showing you how to uh, navigate through the Scoop It uh, website. So I just finished creating a fresh new account at www.scoop.it. So www.scoop.it. That's not com. Okay, so it's .it. And the first thing that I see after I create my new account is this page that looks like it's telling me I have to pay for something. So, of course, just like everything else with the course, you don't need to actually pay for any of these resources. Just go with the free uh, the free version. So we're going to click continue with free. And some of you have already done this way back in uh, week two when you were first asked to create these social media accounts. So uh, again, I'm just doing this for those of you who are new to this particular tool. I'm going to click on continue with free. Uh, and those of you who already did this uh, weeks ago, that's fantastic. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And it says, welcome to Scoop It. All right, get started. And it's inviting me to create a topic. So the first topic that I'm going to create, um, I'm just going to pretend that my group topic is about um, free online resources. So that's what I'm going to call my my first topic. So free online resources. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click next. And then it's telling me, all right, so what are a few uh, key words that you want to associate with this topic and um, I'm going to go ahead and enter free of course online comma um, resources comma creative commons comma public domain comma and then as soon as you hit comma it goes ahead and uh, creates that keyword for you I'm going to leave the default language as English and then click Next. And then it says, almost ready. Where do you want to publish the content? And I'm not going to select any of these because I'm not really ready to share any of this information. All I want to do is start curating uh, some content. So I'm just not going to select these and I'm going to click Next. And then it says, uh, as you publish your content, uh, we'll post it on your own topic web page. OK, great. Next. All right, and then it starts taking me through uh, a little um, sort of tour of all of these different areas of the site. So I just keep clicking Next. All right, so here Scoop It has this sort of um, suggestion area. And based on the keywords that I had entered online and free and resources, etc., it is now suggesting, suggesting some resources that I might want to scoop onto my own uh, topic, which is uh, which is called online free resources. So I can go and have a look at all of these and maybe I'll see something that catches my eye. So let's say that I see this one and um, I'm going to go and click on that to see what that's about. And it opens up a new browser page and it gives me some information. And let's say that I actually uh, I like it. I want to I want to hang on to it. So I'm just going to click back on my Scoop It tab. And this was the one that I just visited. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Scoop It button. So Scoop It. And I'm going to ask you all to make sure that you annotate your scoops. OK, so don't just go ahead and uh, scoop it and sort of um, it's sort of the equivalent of reblogging. So I don't want you to just do that. I um, I'm going to require you each to go and make an annotation. So an annotation is any note where you're indicating why this resource is uh, worthwhile and why you are choosing to rescoop it. So maybe on, in this case, I'm going to say um, open educational resources may tie into my final project because uh, it's all about free materials for students and professors. OK, so there's my little annotation. And I'm going to go ahead and click Publish. So I'm just going to wait a moment here while this thing loads. 
And here I still am in this uh, general area where Scoopit wants to make all kinds of recommendations for uh, possible things for me to curate uh, based on uh, my keywords that I entered. I could also go ahead and tell Scoopit um, to, to um, give me resources based on uh, these selections that I make here to the right, but I'm not going to bother with that um, anymore at this point. I want to do some other things with this account. So I'm going to collapse this suggested content area. I don't want at this point for Scoop It to suggest com uh, content. I want to do some other things. So I'm going to click on this little arrow here to collapse this. So I'm going to collapse that. And here I am inside of this one resource that I've already curated and now I want to add some more. So there's a couple things that I can do. I can go into the search area and look for topics that other people have already uh, curated and I can rescoop them uh, into my own topic or I can just go online and look for um, new materials. So I'm going to go and open a new tab and I'm going to do a search for uh, my topic. So my topic is free online resources and I'm going to get more specific because let's say that what I really want to do is find resources for students. So I'm going to type in here for college students and hit enter. All right and here's a whole bunch of possibilities and I'm going to go through and I'm going to look at all you know very very many of these and I'm going to uh, just randomly just choose this first one do this one and then let's say that I've had a look at it and I really like it okay so if it's something worthwhile that I want to share and it's possibly something that I want to use for my final group project then I'm going to go and scoop this website that I found so to do that I'm going to grab one way to do that is uh, to grab the address so I've selected it I'm going to do control C or command C so control C and go back into my scoop it account and uh, paste the link so here where it says paste the link to create a new scoop I'm going to put my insertion point there I'm going to click on this area and control V, control V or command V to paste it and then hit this sort of next uh, button this action arrow and I can see that it's loading alright and here I can see sort of a preview of what this thing is going to be about and I'm gonna add my annotation so my annotation will be uh, this resource is specifically geared for college students and of course I'm not really the, the stuff that I'm doing right now I'm not thinking very deeply about it I'm just uh, doing this for demonstration purposes and then once I'm happy with the annotation I've made I'm gonna click publish so that's loading now Okay, and here's my second item that I've scooped to this topic called free online resources. So I'm going to continue doing that. So as I go and look for potential resources to use for my final group project, I'm going to keep adding them here to the scoop it area and um, my group mates are going to be able to see the scoops that I've made. So this is a curation tool and this is going to be an important tool for you to uh, use as part of your um, planning and development for the final group project and when you leave uh, the scoop it area of course you can return any other day log back in click on your name in the top right area click on my dashboard it'll take you into the area that lists all of your topics so go ahead and click on that topic it's going to list anything that you've already scooped and then to add new resources you would go into this area and continue to paste. Alright, so that's a very general overview of how to use Scoop It.